Good afternoon. It is July 24th. We're in week three of July here in Nova Scotia for our grocery hauls. Uh, another kind of uh, medium spend week this week. I'm still under budget. I stopped at a couple different places. Mostly, once again, it's summertime. We're going through our freezer, freezer meals. We're starting to put up produce. So a lot of what we're buying right now is more snack items, that sort of thing. Breads and stuff because I don't like baking bread in the summertime. All right, so my first stop was Sobeys. So Sobeys had an offer of spend $50, get $7.50 back in points. So I spent $57.22 at Sobeys. So they had their bread on for $1.99, which is a great price for here. So I bought six loaves, and then for every two loaves, you got a dollar back in points. So essentially making these $1.49 a loaf. They had the Folgers on for $8.99, so I bought two because I'm almost completely out of coffee. I don't really have a certain type of coffee I get, I just get whatever is on sale. We don't need this cereal yet, but they again had a buy two offer, and not as good as it used to be. It was buy two, get 300 points. Now it's buy two, get 100 points, which is equal to a dollar, making these $4 each for the great big bags. So we got two of the marshmallow ones, one of these frosted, like mini wheats, and then one raisin brand the kids wanted to try. All right, so then I, um, they had these bacon on for $1.95. They're not the best bacon, it's not a full pound. I much prefer our home smoked bacon. However, I went through and got kind of the best packages I could see. I'm gonna throw this through the meat grinder and then when we wanna have when we want to have bacon bits for like pizza and stuff, I'll just cook up these or maybe I'll cook them up and save the fat and then just put the cooked bacon bits in the freezer. So I got four packages of those. They were $1.95 each, but then there's a Air Miles receipt app. And if you upload your receipt for each pack of bacon purchased, doesn't matter the type, you get eight Air Miles. So I ended up getting 32 Air Miles for the four packs of bacon. So that was Sobeys, 57.22 spent, and I earned $12.70 back in scene points and then 32 air miles. So then I wanted to try out Sobeys has Food Hero now, which is very similar to the flash food program at Superstore. So they had meat half price. So they had these bone-in chicken breasts, which were 1966, so they were half price. They were like 933, is that right? 893. And then they had these beef ribs were regular 15 something, 1511, and then they were also half price. So for the two of them it came to 1738, but then because it's the first time I've used Food Hero, I got a $5 coupon, so they turned into 1238 for the two packages. I got them to try. I don't love that it's frozen, but they do have meat and Superstore Flash Food doesn't normally have meat products all that often. So then I went to Superstore mostly for this tuna. While we were there, I checked the 50 off rack. They had these bagels on for 50% off. They were two for six and then 50% off, so $1.50 per bagel. I didn't stop at Gateway this week, so I didn't get any like uh, deli meats. So I picked this up for my husband, 763 and then 50% off. These are the hit of the month and uh, month is coming up to a close, but I haven't bought any, but I thought they would go good with our tuna for lunch today. So I got a Triscuit was $1.88 for the 200 gram and the wheat thins were 180 gram, also $1.88. They had their Ocean's tuna on for $1.29 a can. I had bought some last week at the dollar store, but I didn't realize it's a smaller can. So it's only 90 grams drained weight, and these are 120 grams drained weight. So it tasted fine. Uh, my daughter had it for lunch the other day. However, I would rather pay the extra 20 cents and get the bigger can. And then I bought a shampoo for $6.99. It was on sale, but uh, no like bonuses back. And then I didn't need toilet paper. I just bought toilet paper maybe not even a month ago. And one of these usually lasts us three, three and a half months. But I had an offer for $15.99. Then 4,000 points back, which is equal to $4. And then I had an additional personal offer for 700 points per $7 spent on PC toilet paper. 
So I have 5,400 points back for this, essentially making the toilet paper $10.59. So my total spent at Superstore was $48.81, and then I earned the $5.40 in points. Uh, milk I picked up on Friday. I bought two cartons. We're through one already. Today is Wednesday. Um, so two cartons at Circle K on Fridays is $6.19 each or $12.38. So my total spent this week was $130.79. If I subtract the points earned from my Scene Plus points and PC Optimum points, we are at $112.69. Oh, and also with the toilet paper, I had a scan the receipt and I got 10 air miles back for that as well. So $112.69 and then if I subtract the equivalent amount of cash, it was 42 air miles, which is roughly equal to $4.40. We come out to $108.29 for the third week of July. And you'll notice here there are no vegetables. We still have quite a bit left from last week, but also this is what I've harvested from the garden yesterday so i pulled the rest of our kohlrabi i noticed when they get about this size the middle gets quite dense uh fibrous so i might not use the very middle of that but that will go to the chickens i harvested our turnips i might try to make a pickled turnip i'm not sure yet I harvested a couple of cabbages I think I'm going to make coleslaw with these. I harvested our first zucchini. We will probably have that with our lunch today. What else do I have in here? These are Napa cabbage seeds that I'm just going to dry them out as I go through them. I actually just grabbed these because it started raining yesterday and I wanted to get some in the house drying. Um, those will be used for sprouts in the winter. This is all basil. Uh, so I will either, I actually I'll probably make pesto out of that. I harvested 1.2 kilograms of peas yesterday and shelled them. I don't know what it is shelled because everyone keeps eating them. That's why I don't normally shell peas because it's. I find it, I take more time doing it than it's worth. I got a big handful of garlic chives. Half of this bowl or three quarters of this bowl is Swiss chard. Oh no, probably half of this bowl is Swiss chard. So quite a bit of Swiss chard. Uh, red Russian kale and then a good deal of parsley as well. I will probably grind and freeze that in cubes. I have lemon balm. I just put the elastic around the bottom. I usually hang them to dry most of the way and then I'll throw it in the dehydrator to finish drying. Um, there's some mint. There is thyme and some sage and I think that's a little bit more savory as well. Yep yeah. and so yeah, that's about it that I harvested from the garden yesterday. So I was gonna stop at Gateway mostly for their corn sale. They have corn on for $2.97 for a dozen. So I was gonna buy, I don't know, three or four dozen to put up in the freezer for the winter. Um, but I'm just gonna bank that it's gonna come on sale again because I don't wanna get overwhelmed with too much produce. All right, thank you so much for watching and you have yourself a great, great day. Bye now.